What up, real progressives? Myself and Chelsea are driving back to Standing Rock right now. You might want us to talk about the uh, presidential debate. We're not gonna. It was a shit show. It's stupid. Let's talk about after. Who won? No one wins. No one wins that debate. No one wins any debate. They're all dog and pony shows. They're all bullshit. You know who doesn't win? The American people. Our children. We're getting set up to go to war. Putin. Putin doesn't win. Or he will win after he wipes the floor with us. After our children. Who are set up to go to war, but are not going to make it because we won't allow it. So we'll have a civil war, including a world war. Just not going to be pretty. If you watch the debate tonight, being entertained, that's great. That's what it was. It was entertainment. You, you could watch that, or you could watch uh, the Real Housewives of wherever the fuck, because apparently Real Housewives somewhere are fucking important. But the garbage that is marketing being marketed towards us, it's crap. It's bullshit. There's no way we only have three viewers right now on Real Progressives. There's something wrong with this right now. Uh, good news. Jill Stein's uh, debate got 1.5 million live stream viewers. So that's goddamn amazing. 1.5 million people waking up to the fact that there's actually another presidential candidate out there. And uh, you know it's How working. Is it possible that she's lower in the polls now? There's no way. Yeah, like Jank. Okay, so Jank, the fuck off, man. Like seriously, he brought up a question to her. Like, what was the question anyway? It was like if. Which was like a few months ago. I kind of thought you had a chance, but now you're polling at three percent. So obviously you have no shot. Wouldn't it be better if you just like walked away from this? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, first of all, the polls are fucking corrupt, but for some reason he doesn't know this. Being a news channel, I don't know why not. Uh, second of all, the 3% is, is is not even real. Like, it never was real. The, the Commission of Presidential Debates is a company owned by the Democrat and the, and the Republican Party. They're not going to let a third party in there. So the polls, are, they're not even real. And then to sit there and blame, like, her for... Uh, he said something about, like, the marginal part of society. That's that's what Jill Stein's about. And that's why Hillary will probably lose, because she's getting votes. It's some stupid Nader shit that all the, the establishment make up. I can't believe Jenk being on TYT, doing what he did to make TYT what it is would come to such a statement. Um, on the other side of, uh, of great news against the elites and like George Soros and, uh, you know, sorry to say my buddy's Democracy Spring, Mary Zeiser, Democracy Spring exited. So that's actually a good news um, because she, like the rest of America and anybody with some fucking intelligence, uh, looked at a supposedly uh, bipartisan group and said, why the fuck are you endorsing Hillary Clinton? And then, to double down on the endorsement of Hillary Clinton, it's just fucking mind-blowing and stupidity. And I'm sorry I'm friends with a lot of those folks, but the, it still doesn't exclude you from from my uh, objective uh, commentary, which is, you, you done fucked up. You need to back out immediately. Or just disband and go away. And let, let the rest of us actually try to save this fucking planet. Uh, because the position with Hillary Clinton is position for death. It's fucking... Uh, it's an accessory to murder. It's genocide. So fuck you. Um, but yeah, good job, Mary. Unfortunately, she did deactivate her account today. So uh, you won't be able to see it. But yeah, that happened. Stephen Ed live at once. Oh, we're both live at the same time? 
How does that work? I'm sorry, Steve. I didn't know you were alive. Oops. Yeah, my bad, buddy. All right, guys, I'm going to head out there. Steve's live. I'm going to let him do his thing. I'll talk to you.